Responsible ethical AI means creating artificial intelligence to be human-centric in design and also in compliance with existing regulatory environments, such as the GDPR or existing regulations created by the government. So in order to develop good AI, you need to make sure that it is, number one, focused. Uh, in other words, that you have an intent for the technology that you're trying to build. Number two, that there is some sort of a regulation or understanding of the ethics, the implications of what the technology might mean. Uh, and number three, that what you're building is scalable and impactful, so that while you can create a prototype, what does that prototype mean when it's scaled across your entire corporation and scaled across the entire world? Introducing this technology is not just about dropping a technology and assuming people will love it. We actually have to create um, a narrative around what I call winning hearts and minds. So how do we help people who are the employees understand that these robots are meant to help them, meant to help them do better at their jobs or to have more interesting jobs? And for the customer, how do we explain to the customer that these robots are meant to give them a better customer experience? So Accenture is a technology agnostic company. I think that's one of the biggest assets that we have, um, especially moving into this AI economy. So if uh, you want to institute a cloud instance, we can have you talk to Amazon, Microsoft, whoever. But if you want to do this very niche, deep technology, we can also have a small startup. So the reason we're a value add is that we not only put all those pieces together, that when it comes to startups, we're able to help scale and think globally. So while smaller companies are very, very good at what they're doing, the very small, narrow world in what they're doing, it's sometimes difficult to translate that into a big corporation, whether nationwide or globally. And that's what Accenture, um, that's what Accenture's strengths are.